Hello and welcome back to Fridays Are For Families. This month we are focusing on rest and really trying to reset our thinking about what rest is. Rest is a pausing from striving for all things around us and pausing to be in the presence of our Lord. And that's never a waste of time. We can't deny the busy reality of our lives and the constant pull and almost constant anxiety to be doing and moving and checking things off the list and on to the next thing and really seeking to be as productive as possible. Those aren't necessarily bad things. There are a lot of things to get done in our families and the daily tasks, let alone the emergencies or the extras, seem to take so much time. But I think that in the midst of the busy, what we often miss is the voice of God. There's an Old Testament prophet named Elijah. He had just had this epic victory over the false prophets of the idol Baal, which proved beyond a shadow of a doubt who the one true God is, Yahweh. And Yahweh revealed his sovereign power through his prophet Elijah. However, after that victory, Elijah immediately hits a low place, a depressed place, a place where he fears for his life and even despairs of being alive. It's in those moments where God meets Elijah, not in front of a big crowd, but in an intimate one-on-one -on -one setting. God sends an angel to minister to Elijah, to feed him, to give him sleep, to strengthen him for a long journey to the mountain to meet with God. Yahweh appears to Elijah, but not in the wind or the earthquake or the fire. Yahweh appears to Elijah in a whisper. I think this is instructive for us to remember that God show, shows up more often in the whisper than he does the grand display of miraculous power. It's in the mundane moments where our Heavenly Father meets with and ministers to our souls. Do you have mundane moments in your day where you are pa pausing before Yahweh? Or do you fill those mundane moments with activity or scrolling or some other distraction? As we seek to have a productive pause, we believe that we must have more of these mundane moments and allow our kids to experience them as well. Slow down to experience a productive pause. It's hard to hear a whisper when everything around you is so loud. Turn the noise down so you can listen to your Heavenly Father's voice. Teach your kids how to slow down and pray to the Lord and hear from Him. If this is uncomfortable for you or a new experience, feel free to ask questions, to do some research, to come and ask us. There's a helpful book by Mark Batterson called Whisper that talks a lot about hearing from God and another resource by Pete Grieg called How to Hear God, A Simple Guide for Normal People. They're great resources to help us. If we want to hear from God, most of us probably need to change something about the pace of our days and the distractions from our boredom. Pursue the mundane. It's okay, and it's not unproductive, because it's time intentionally set aside to pause and hear from your Heavenly Father. Pursue Yahweh's voice in prayer, in His Word, even in fasting and silence and solitude. It's of vital importance to slow down. Our prayer for you and for ourselves is that we would be able to model to our kids what it is to productively pause in order to worship Yahweh and to hear from Him. This isn't a, a one-time thing, but it's an ongoing practice to implement into the very structure and calendar of our every day. Thank you, Ben, for that message. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Fridays Are For Families. We place a high value on discipleship, especially in the home, because we believe that strong disciples are made at home. That is why we have a heart to do what we can to empower and equip you to grow as a disciple of Jesus yourself and a disciple maker of your kid. If you have specific questions for information you would like to hear about, we invite you to share them with us, either commenting on this video or on YouTube or Facebook, or by emailing us at family at lifeapathway.com. See you next week.